Welcome to game two of the elimination round of the F NA bracket finals. Honey Nuts and Dusty versus Lemon and Disillusion. This time it's going to be Moscow Outskirts. Honey Nuts tech faking once again. To make things as confusing as possible, I guess, for his opponents. And we're going to have double Soviets here in the south base. So no U.S. forces from Dusty and Honey Nuts. Going with support weapon Campanai and a special rifle command. So tier 1 and tier 2 from them. Up against mixed axis here in the north. We're going to have infantry company from Disillusion. And a Folks Grenadier start from Lemon. And Lemon's going to be producing a Kuba Wagon second, moving sort of both for the cutoff and the fuel here simultaneously, knocking over fences with his SWS, grabbing the fuel with his Sturm Pioneers, and grabbing the strategic point with his Folks Grenadiers. Meanwhile, Dusty moving over here across the right, grabbing the strategic points. Honey Nuts grabbing the strategic points as well, so actually not going to be rushing the fuel or anything like that. He's actually going to be prioritizing the munitions here, I think. So depending on where the Koopa Wagon goes first, he may have... Mm, probably not, actually. Koopa Wagon's probably going to s drive straight for him. Yep, there it goes. Stern Pioneers grabbing the fuel. Common Engineers moving up for the VP, and we actually have Tier 2, of course, from Honey Nuts, so Maxim is also moving its way up. Koo Wagon dealing uh, respectable damage to those conscripts, and the Folks Grenadiers will block him from finishing capturing the territory, and there's a, that's that very, very early battle group headquarters from Lemon. He's going to be sitting up here on the cutoff, so... May uh may not be able to defend the left side fuel that well. But we'll see what he's able to do. Dusty going with his uh his scout car that he loves so much, throwing the penals inside, probably going to be getting the flamethrower on them extremely soon. So no surprises from Dusty this game. Pretty much always does this opening. Oh jeez. Disillusion actually gets the Faust off as the scout car is driving by, but I don't know if he's going to be able to win this engagement. He's put Penal Battalion instead of Engineers inside of the scout car, and because of that he's got like a huge advantage over those Grenadiers at this short range, and there's nothing else nearby to support. No second Grenadier squad or anything like that. So those, uh, those Grenadiers are going to be forced to retreat. This squad is trying to move up to get in range to Faust. I think he probably does have the munitions for it. Yes, and he's going to get it off. So there's just no way for... Oh, why isn't he firing it? There it goes. Fortunately, it had it, its engine destroyed by the first pass, so there's really no way for Dusty to salvage that situation. Dusty now has pretty much all of the right side. I'm almost semi-surprised that he's not just moving up to capture some of these points up here, but I guess he thought that it would be better use of his squads to just charge Lemon's truck here, but I don't know what he's hoping to accomplish. He's definitely just going to get out-reinforced here. Especially without much support from his teammate. We actually have a new scout car being produced by Dusty here. Satchel also going off on the battle group headquarters, but I'm... That's gonna just get repaired. No way of following up on that at all. I don't know, that was a pretty feeble push by Dusty. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He's about to lose another scout car, too. Grenadier's trying to finish off the scout car in red cover. He should at least get out of the road before he continues to fire. Wow. Dusty got a little bit lucky there that that's still alive, getting destroyed engine instead of damaged engine. More Grenadiers moving up to try and finish it off. 
but he spent so many munitions on Faust, he really can't afford to just like keep doing that. And now, oh, it's falling back down really low, but he's still in red cover. What is he doing? Abandoned. <laughs> and then he has to retreat that squad too. I can't believe what perfect bait this scout car has been. Engine destroyed and then abandoned. Wow, that is, that's pretty incredible. Disillusion just threw away so many Grenadier models trying to finish that thing off. Maxim forcing away Folk's Grenadiers, has to soft retreat one squad, hard retreat the other. Ooh, huge push by Dusty's now back to full health scout car that I can't even, I honestly can't even believe it's alive, but he does sustain a Panzer Shrek shot and he's not going to get out of that situation. Satchel going off on the retreat. Oh, the gun is not destroyed, so it will be able to get away just fine. Meanwhile, over here, a Koopa Wagon did go down, though, to a Maxim, actually. Wow. And Shock Troops are now hitting the field from Dusty. Unfortunately, his, uh, his M3's dead, so he can't go with the good old-fashioned Shocks in an M3 strat. And he's standing in the road. So many infantry have died on this open road this game. So much blood! You guys are fighting to be NA champs. You should probably learn how the cover system works. Conscripts grabbing the uh, victory point over here. Well, this one falls to the axis, and we'll we'll see that disillusion's gone with spearhead. Let's check on other doctrines. Lemon probably fortifications this game, not Luftwaffe. In fact, I'm not really sure why he went Luftwaffe in uh, round one. He didn't make any fall from Jaeger. He didn't call in airborne assault, and he, I don't think he built any field defenses, so I'm pretty sure the only doctrinal feature he used was the MG34. Let's see what he does this game. And that MG34 hits the field and is going to suppress some infantry here. We also have more half track firing on a lot of Honey Nuts' forces. Like I said before, this area is not that well defended because the battle group headquarters is so near to the middle. So Honey Nuts has at least managed to decap it. Maxim is going to try to sprint to safety now. Ooh, that was a nicely aimed mortar though. Flanking attack. Maxim setting up. The has been set. bug. It's just getting suppressed by these MG34s. That's actually three MG34s being produced by Lemon. He went Volks, Volks. He went Volks, Kubel, Battlegroup Headquarters, Volks, MG34, 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 so. It's quite a few MG34s. Proves to be a little bit too much uh, for, for Honey Nuts to handle, especially with these Grandiers supporting. But that being said, Dusty has had free reign to capture everything on the left, right side. He's also got some combat engineers in this building, apparently. Nice smoke grenade on that MG42 gonna have to retreat probably. Oh, but the Schwer Panzer HQ is going to stop his penals in their tracks. Every single flag burst hits obstacles though. Here it sustains no damage or suppression. There it goes. Looks like he wasn't quite sure what to do now that there was a Schwer Panzer HQ right there. He's pretty much just gonna have to retreat. Shock troops trying to do what they can with flamethrower support on this, all this stuff, wiping out one MG, but then they get suppressed. There's just way too much stuff there to focus them down. And it looks like he couldn't really find an opportunity with that squad either. But still, their map control on the right side is great. 
When uh, when Lemon and Disillusion do this strategy, they just clump up so tight here in just one little sector of the map, and they just lose all map control. Probing over here. There's not much defending other than one machine gun. He's probably going to be able to just Uber out past it and also setting up a flank over here. And they actually both have shock troops. Double shock troops is going to be a nightmare for this team to contend with, I think. Yep. Shock rifle, actually. This might be the first time I've seen shock rifle in this tournament. Or, no, we've seen it in like one other game, I think. So no ISUs there. And if we take a look at Dusty, he's. Shock motor. Okay, so he's got ISUs on the way. I almost thought this might be an ISU free game. For a moment, I dared to believe. Last game was an ISU free game, though. Mortar half tracks doing what they can. Or doing what it can. It's got four kills. It hasn't actually made that much of an impact. Uh, Honeyness didn't invest very heavily into tier two. He only made one machine gun. Everything else is in uh, conscripts, engineers, and shock troops now. Looks, uh, Lemons looks rush hitting the field at about a little bit earlier than 12 minutes, and there's really absolutely nothing to counter it. Once again, Dusty and Honey Nuts leaving themselves so vulnerable to this. I don't even, I don't even know if Honey Nuts is getting a uh, a field gun. No, he was about to cook tier four, but he canceled it. Although, I think he's about to hit a mine here. Mm, yep, there he goes. This is just a waste of munitions. I don't know what he's thinking. Like, why do this? I, don't, I really don't think he can finish it off with two AT grenades. He's just going to take a ton of manpower bleed. I don't know. I could be wrong. No. That overextension is going to cost him a little bit. One squad down. Surprised his illusion is not chasing. If he were to chase, he could body block. Get more damage off. He's even breaking away with one squad. He's basically just letting that conscript squad get away. Why? Very strange. Dusty's dominance over the right side continues. Pretty much unopposed. There's not really basically no attempt to even take this. Penal's oorahing in on the flank. Pretty pretty good flank. Has to retreat. Nothing nearby to support. Dusty will continue to hold this area. MG34 is set up there to counter pushes from this angle. And until the allies field some kind of weapon to destroy this, these pushes are pretty much futile. Like, I honestly don't even know what Dusty is doing. I don't know what this is meant to accomplish. He's just kind of throwing infantry. <laughs> I think he just doesn't know what else to do. Honestly, he could, he could just sit AFK in this area and be more effective than that push was. I guess he just needs to get his CPs up so that he can call in, <laughs> call in an ISU at some point so he just throws his infantry at the line. Mine there though. And demo charge. And T-34, look at that! T-34-76 from, uh, I don't know, so he cancelled his tier 4 and got tier 3. Interesting. Meanwhile, Dusty maybe couldn't go for a Katusha? No, he hasn't even teched up yet. I, d I would doubt that he's gonna rush an ISU. He's already got 360 fuel. Their map control has been quite good this game. It seems like a mistake to leave out tech entirely. He has retreated his combat engineers now. And he's n I don't know. I'm not sure what he's planning. Territory getting captured here. Nice demo charge. That's a full... What is that? Grenadier bits? Not sure. Looks like it. I see four bodies, I'm pretty sure that was a grand squad.
pack hitting the field, we'll be, able, we'll be able to push away the T-34 here, I think. Ooh. Doing what I can over here in this area. We are ready for anything. Looks grabbing some kills. I don't know, kind of stalemating a little bit. The uh, the allies are gonna manage to grab this fuel once again, but actually the that would be a waste of a demo charge, I think. He might consider it, but I think that's a waste. Yeah, he's probably looked at that and decided not to do it. Meanwhile, his flamethrower is going to try and flank that uh, machine gun, maybe? I'm not sure if he knows that's there. Looks like he might. Meanwhile, Dusty getting pushed away from the middle. By the looks. And no, I guess he thought that was worth it. So much for those pyos. Probably should keep moving out of the arc of that machine gun, though. Oh, lucky flame crit makes it not matter, I guess. We will be forced to retreat. We should be able to grab all the territory back on the right side. Pause the game for one second. All right. Infantry support gun firing. Ooh, pack gets cleared actually by uh by the maxim I guess. And sustained conscript fire was just a little bit overextended. MG-34 is actually up to Vet 2 and Oversoldon are also on their way to support another MG-34 here. Grenadier is also healing up at the uh, battle group headquarters. Dusty continuing to harass the right side. But some lone pioneers with a minesweeper moving across. I guess he's going to try and defuse any demo charges. Dusty charging into this massive blob once again. He actually, I think, just wiped a Gren squad with a grenade. Ooh, satchel charge, Rod. Ooh, that almost wipes that Grenadier squad, but he got clear just in time. Dusty's infantry being forced to retreat once again. Ooh, heavy damage actually on the looks. I think that's from the T-34, I guess? Yeah, it must be. I don't know what else could have done that. So with Dusty continuing to push from the right side and Honeynuts continuing to pressure the left, especially the left side fuel, what are those Grenadiers doing? I don't know what that was all about. The Axis are just being kept really busy here and having a lot of trouble harassing. Every harassment attempt just gets shut down by demo charges or... Oh my god. Like a nice flamethrower engagement. And it's really leaving Dusty open to just continue keeping the, uh, the Axis really busy here on the truck. And it looks like he's trying to maneuver these pushes just right here so that he inflicts a lot of losses, doesn't take very many losses himself. And he just tries to avoid suppression by the Schwer Panzer HQ by just continuing to use this angle of attack right here. That's a pretty good bug. <laughs> Okay, come on. This is just ridiculous now. That medic, I think that medic is blocking him. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I hope that that gets unstuck at some point. T-34 has been repaired. Dusty actually has just massive resource load. I can't believe he didn't get like a Katusha or something. 
A Katusha would have been a great help. A great way to bridge the gap. Like, just imagine a Katusha firing on this position. Against a strategy that's playing this clump together, he's really going to just rush an ISU. It just seems like over... Like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem... Seems like a flaw in the strategy to me. He could easily afford a Katusha and still have more than enough to get an ISU by the time he has the command points for it. Or, you know, three SU-76s or something. Honey Nuts, on the other hand, also actually has quite a bit of fuel stored up. He could have gotten a KVA by now if he'd wanted, which would have been, like, not bad, if I'm being honest. Like, it could have been quite good, but I think he's just going to play the slightly longer game. And just go straight for the IS-2, by the look of things. I almost think a half-track might have been a good decision for him, considering he's kind of been just hovering in this zone. Being able to soft retreat to a half track rather than hard retreat might have been beneficial, but that being said, he's got control of the left side fuel. The axes are just so, like, almost ridiculously bunkered in. In such a small area. ISU is on the field though, levels that wall with its first shot, but there's actually quite a few anti-tank weapons here. But an incendiary barrage is being called in on top of them, the Rakenwarpers have to retreat, the pack is going to have to manually try and get clear, but it's blocked by the Rakenwarper, which just got retreat bugged, which just totally screwed over that pack. Oh, the carnage! Folks, Grenadiers dropping like flies. Oh, that was almost, that was almost just way too devastating. It was already way too devastating that... That retreat bug sort of chain reaction definitely didn't help things. That's gonna open up a lane for the T-34s to push. There's some dead stuff over there apparently. Lots of mines continuing to get laid. And now there's a second ISU 152. Dusty having saved up all his resources to just call in, call them both in in just really rapid succession. And I don't think that the Axis are going to be able to survive this. I don't think there's any chance. There's a Tiger on the field, but against two ISU-152s, that's just gonna get... ...destroyed. Looks like he's just gonna go in hard. Actually get some good shots off there. Oh no, he's crew-shocked! Meanwhile, Pioneers get blown up. Or just killed. I don't know, something. There's body parts everywhere. Shocks have a Panzer Shrek. It's actually going to be pretty annoying for that Tiger later. Or even right now. Shocks on the right side continuing to just maintain total dominance. Sending these lone squads just isn't working. There's just no. I mean, Shock Troops might be one of the best counter harassment squads in the game. He's actually got to send his whole Tiger over there just to deal with that. ISUs are now up to four and six kills each. Continuing to just wipe stuff out. Honey Nuts continuing to apply tons of pressure, and he's got the T-34 and an IS-2. And if the ISUs clear out enough of the AT weapons, which they probably will, that IS-2 can just dive right in, tank a bunch of damage, give sight to the IS-2 so they can continue firing. The Tiger does uh, chase the shock troops on the right side away. That battle group headquarters is not going to last long at this rate, though. And both the IS-2s have actually been fully repaired already. And there's just something wrong, I guess, with this, like, this particular exact battle group headquarters placement is really screwing Lemon over here. Like, look at that. That's, that's really not good. I 
I've never seen that retreat bug that bad before. That's, that's pretty bad. Shock troops may clear out this pack here. Oh. AT weapon's not doing too well. Top gunner wipes the pack. Cat and Warf are soon to follow. There it goes. Battle group headquarters is dead, and that's gonna. Also, that's probably gonna be a pretty much a full retreat from the Axis. It's just a matter of time. Tiger only has five kills. It really has not had much of an impact. It came. It came after two ISU, ISU 152s, which is generally a bad sign. Finally, some harassment attempt on the right is actually succeeding, though. Dusty having to dedicate a lot of his attention to his ISUs here in the middle. Tiger support also helping. But it may be too little too late. They really needed to get more territory earlier. At least one of the fuel points under their control would have been good. Come on, Dusty. <laughs> Panther hitting the field from Lemon. Seems like a... Ooh. More demo charges. Jeez, how many full squads has Dusty wiped with those? That's hard to watch at this point. IS-2 charging in with lots of infantry support. That Panther's going in like ridiculously hard for a flank. I don't know why Dusty even bothered rotating his ISU around. I guess he's getting shots off. Yeah, that's a dead Panther for sure, but I think that that, yeah, ooh. That IS, ISU-152 went down to the zeroing artillery that's falling here. It's not really hitting anything now, though. Just kind of like randomly landing. Get some, some conscripts there. Tiger's heavily damaged and it goes down to the IS-2. Although he does trade the T-34 for it at least. ISU-152, that half and the pack gets cleared out and it is now looking extremely bad for the Axis. Man, that zeroing already just goes on forever. That didn't really hit anything though, like for a pretty long time there it seemed like it wasn't really hitting anything. I don't know, that was weird. I was kind of expecting it to do a little bit better. Schwer Panzer HQ soon to fall. All the team weapons are just crewless. The shock troops have just cleaned up. Oh. Goes the Schwerer Panzer HQ. I think. There goes the Schwerer Panzer HQ. Which is going to bring Lemon down to having no tech structures at all. And he's certainly nowhere near having the resources for a King Tiger. He doesn't have any call ins that he can take advantage of, so he's pretty much got to just rely on tier 1 units now, meaning that uh, there's not going to be much he can do. If anything, more packs being created by Disillusion here. No further attempts happening for harassment. We actually have some munitions caches up over here. But, um... 
Yeah, the IS-2 and ISU pretty much have free reign to just go crazy on the road. What little infantry remains. methodically blowing up team weapons there certainly are a lot of them to go ally stealing at least stealing one of the packs I'm surprised that mortar half track is alive <laughs> kills on the IS-2 actually, which is not bad. The ISU also has 29, so... Huh. Look at that. Ooh, full squad actually goes down to conscripts of all things. Meanwhile, over here, shock troops clear that VET-2MG that was defending. And steal. Enemy flanking us. Looks like they've cleared out most of the team weapons now. You firing. Taking a little damage from packs, but um <laughs> and there they go. Another ISU being produced by Dusty. This one's up to 38 kills now. This ISU just couldn't keep up. a hopeless struggle. pulling back and that's it they surrendered so that means that uh, Honey Nuts and Dusty are the NA champions of the Star Cross Cup congratulations to both of them and they will be advancing into the championship if you will to fight the winners of the EU finals which you should be looking forward to they will be uh, I'll be streaming those I think later this week but that's going to conclude this round, and that's, uh, that's it for the NA bracket of the Starcross Cup. Thank you very much for watching.